Okay, so here's your cool human fact for the day. Your heart is covered in a connective tissue layer called the pericardium. Now, I'm pulling this to the side, and believe it or not, I can even pull this heart out, and we can see this empty pericardial sac. Now, this would normally be filled with fluid to help reduce all the friction the heart generates as it beats. So this may seem a little strange, but believe it or not, this is not your stomach. Your stomach is all the way up here, behind the liver. So when you're saying that your stomach hurts, you're really saying your intestines hurt. That's what these are. These are your small intestines, not your stomach. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about why every pregnant woman has to pee a lot. This is part of the uterus, and you can also see an ovary hanging out behind it, but the thing I wanna focus on is the fact that this uterus is right above the bladder. So I want you to go ahead and picture this thing getting really big with a fetus and all of that weight pushing on this bladder, and that is why every pregnant woman has to pee a ton. This is a really cool piece of tissue called the retinaculum. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna strap down the tendons of the muscles of the forearm as they enter into the hand. You see, without this wristband-like tissue, every time you'd extend your wrist and digits, the tendons would kinda just flip up. So luckily we have this retinaculum that's going to bind those tendons down. I honestly can't tell you how many times I've been asked to discuss period cramps, so here you go. See this thing? This is part of your uterus. During your period, it's going to start contracting, and as it contracts, it's going to slough off an inner membrane that's going to go out the vaginal canal. That in essence is a period cramp, but there's a ton more interesting detail, and if you're interested, head on over to our YouTube where I discuss it a whole lot more. I want to talk about your calf muscles. This is called gastrocnemius, so this is one head and a second head of it. And if I move that over, we can see soleus on the other side. Both soleus and gastrocnemius are going to turn into one gigantic tendon, which we call the Achilles tendon. Stomach grumbles are actually part of something called the migrating motor complex. And what happens is your stomach starts to contract and then that will start to ripple its way through and it then moves through your entire intestinal tract. And the idea is it's trying to move leftover digestive material out of the way to make room for new digestive material that you're going to be eating. The thing is it also alerts you to, hey, we're ready for you to eat food and fill us up. This thing right here is responsible for gleeking. You know when people projectiles shoot saliva out their mouths? Well, what's happening is they're contracting muscles and squishing this gland, and you can see these little tiny ducts here. And what those are gonna do is empty into the mouth. That's what would be right here. And if you do it forcefully enough, you can literally spray saliva out the mouth. This bone right here is called your scapula. Most people refer to it as the shoulder blade, but if we look at it from this view, it is extremely thin. Now, it's just gonna be resting on your rib cage, surrounded and embedded with muscle tissue, and as your shoulder moves up and down into the sides, this thing is just gonna be gliding around on the rib cage. This right here is part of the birth canal. Picture how amazing this is. A full-term fetus spinning and inverting and then going through this area to be born. It is absolutely incredible.